Now we're going to be visiting uh, rotational kinetic energy. And so let's just kind of get, get a big picture of what's happening here is if you have something that's spinning, right, with an angular velocity, let's just say like a solid disk here. The thing is, is like there's kinetic energy because remember, every single piece here is moving at a different speed, right? There's like a speed here. Every, every little chunk of mass has a velocity vector there. And so there's a whole bunch of one half mv squareds that you can add up. Now, because it's spinning, we know the angular speed is the same, but we, you know, the velocities are actually gonna be different for it, right? The ones on the end are gonna move faster than the ones closer to the center, right? And so the energy is not gonna be the same. So it, you could chop it up into little pieces and calculate it, integrate it if you do calculus to get the total amount of kinetic energy, but someone's already done that for you and that's where the rotational inertia gets to come into play. So when it's spinning, even if the, the object isn't moving, like the center of mass isn't moving, it can still have kinetic energy from the spinning. So the rotational kinetic energy is it's when it's spinning around the axis, right? And this is where we're gonna use this formula one half I omega squared 